So with bee houses, some maintenance needs to be performed, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. We need to make sure we perform maintenance so that we don't contribute to disease spread with our bees. And with a bee house like this, all you have to do after you see a tube has been excavated, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, is pull the tube out and put a new tube in. And because often it's preferred that we use native or natural versions of stems, we can just take the tube and set it off to the side, out on the ground, so that if there are any bees that haven't yet emerged, they'll still have that chance. And then because it's all natural, it's just fine being out in nature. And that's really the simple, quick, and easy way to perform maintenance on a house like this. And then also, say, the wood starts breaking down over time, you might just want to replace the box. Over with the basic bee house, it's a little more because you can't just remove tubes. So what I like to do is I take a pipe cleaner. Here I have a bunch of different fun colors, but I'll pick yellow. And you're going to want to take a little bit of a diluted bleach solution, and that's going to be half a cup of bleach to a gallon of water. and then spray a little bit inside and take the pipe cleaner and just brush it inside to help clean out any debris and because the pipe cleaners are flexible you'll be able to get down inside of the holes the different sizes the pipe cleaner can compact its bristles to fit inside so you can really clean out all of these holes and you'll do that after you'll see that a bee's excavated the hole as well but you'll want to be sure to also replace the log every couple or uh, every few years to make sure that we're not having any extreme buildup because we don't have the easy solution of just removing and reinserting a tube. We want to make sure that we pay special attention to this and replace it every so often.